there, it's Anna again. Today I have Jefferson with me and we are going to answer a question that I got from a reader last night. And I thought it was a great question, so I thought maybe more people might be interested in it as well. Um, th here's the question. Uh, this person has a small flock of ducks and most of them are Muscovy females. Um, but they also had a khaki Campbell male and also a Pekin female. So the question was, can I breed my ducks and will they then be able to have ducklings as well or would they be sterile because they're all mixed breeds? And the ducks are all hanging out with me so it's a little bit loud. I'll try to speak loud enough to make sure we're catching this. Um, I thought that was a great question. So basically the situation with that is, here's the interesting thing to know. Um, almost all breeds of ducks, other than Muscovies, are descended from the Mallard. Um, these are, oh hey Jefferson, oh you want to go play? All right, go for it. Um, so almost all breeds of ducks are descended from Mallards. Um, mine are Welsh Harlequins, but whether you've got Pekin ducks or Khaki Campbells or almost any other breed, uh, it doesn't matter. They're closely related nut related enough that they can interbreed and create offspring that will be fertile. Now a Muscovy duck, even though we call them a duck, here's the crazy thing, they're not actually a duck. They are a type of South American waterfowl that can interbreed with our mallard derived ducks, but the offspring that they produce will always be infertile. It's called hybrid sterility. Um, it's also another term that we hear used is mule. Now usually we think of a mule as being, um, you know, a donkey-like creature, but uh, you can also hear the word mule used when it refers to other animals that are hybridized and not able to reproduce. So in this case, a mule duck. Um, and that would be any offspring of one parent being a Muscovy and the other parent being mallard derived. So in the case of this person who is writing to me, she has a mallard derived male. Now, most of her females are Muscovies, which means any offspring that they pr produce would not be able to breed with any other duck and have hatchable eggs. However, she does have one Pekin duck. Now, that Pekin duck is also derived from mallards, and so the Khaki Campbell and the Pekin, any eggs um, that are laid from that breeding, those would be able to hatch, and those offspring would be fertile. Now, if you're doing a line breeding type of thing, um, you could breed those offspring to each other. The full siblings could be bred to each other and create fertile offspring. You could um, breed any of those offspring back to one of the parents, the Khaki Campbell or the Pekin, and those would be fertile offspring. Um, hope this is all making sense. I thought it was a super interesting question. I love anything to do with genetics, and when we start talking ducks, it's hard to get me to stop. I hope that answers the question that my reader had and maybe a question that you've thought about and weren't sure about um, or just one that you've not seen answered. Um, so yeah, basically a Muscovy, even though we call them a duck, technically not a duck. And I'm going to get hate email on this. I know it. Uh, you would be amazed the things that people send um, in my DMs or in my email when I talk about um, anything they don't expect to hear about ducks or hatching eggs and things like that. And I just, I already know when I say Muscovies are not a duck, even though that's scientifically true, <laughs> bring on the hate mail. <laughs> oh, well, that's okay. It goes with being online. Um, I hope you're all having an absolutely wonderful day. It's October here and the leaves are starting to turn and it is my absolutely favorite season. I love it. Um, hope you're all doing well, and I'll see you next time. Take care.